Now, once you've seen these guitars, uh, they are the most, ex um, they are um, God intended images, is what these are. The most expensive man intended image. Oh, and don't forget this one. The most expensive man intended image is the Mona Lisa. It is also art. No other art can have songs written on it. So these guitars have got PR legs. They keep on. It's living art. $670 million is what it is valued at. The Mona Lisa. So you would have to go $671 million starting bid on eBay. If somebody were to put these guitars on eBay, if you look how many, and we're talking epic here, you got to have boldness to come out and say this and do the math on these. So doubters will know it already as they hear this, if their heart's full of doubt. Look how many billionaires there are. 946 billionaires in the world. That could buy these guitars. Like you and I would purchase a ham sandwich. That's getting close to a billion. If the bidding started right there at 671 million. We've been promoting the book More Than a Carpenter. Scientific proof that the Bible is real. Sowing huge seeds. These were purchased in 1998. Shannock's Pawn Shop. The receipts are there. And the other receipt for the Yamaha. Then, you've got a book called No One Would Listen, a financial thriller about uh, the Bernie Madoff whistleblower. We are whistleblowers in a $14 trillion case that devastates every one of the liberal parties in America, which promotes heavily the conservative, pro-Christian, and pro-business parties. So... That's what's going on. Those are factors that you add in and variables that you add in. Memorial offerings were made. 1998's when I got these guitars. These are checks and offerings to CBN. Dave Reaver. Youth America. Kenneth Hagen. It's just going, flipping through them. Agape Faith Church, uh, TBN, ACLJ, Mike Barber in the prisons, John Jacobs Power Team, Johnny Simmons Ministries, Breakthrough with Rod Parsley, Jerry Savelle Ministries, Reasons to Believe with Hugh Ross. In the corner you'll see, these are 1994, 93, $500 million vow. Every one of these. Case, Christian Advocate Serving Evangelism. It later became the ACLJ. Second payment. Half a billion. CBN. Half a billion. Kenneth Hagen Ministries. Payment on a half a billion dollar vow. $500 million vow. 1993. These, here's the other side of them. Every one of them is cashed. These were sent in. And so the harvest came in by 1998. They were multi-billion dollar guitars. Because you get these, these billionaires start bidding on these guitars. A lot of them are real freaky. 
sheiks and, and princes that, that can bid out of the treasury of their kingdom. Treasury. And you hear the songs that were written on these guitars. These are God-intended images. The wood had to be split. This is talking about prayers that were that had giving of the precious added to them. Unanswered prayer answered by John Avanzini. Breakthrough prayers. Robert Tilton. There's always a way. People laughed at that guy, but I'm telling you, that's the guy that taught me how to give and sow huge epic seeds and reap huge epic harvest. And this is just the beginning because a documentary film on this in the right hands done properly with all the songs that were written and the police widows fundraising and all the news um, features that you've seen in the other um, segments of this documentary uh, add to the, the uh, variables and the mathematical probabilities. And these, these are other receipts and, and from more up-to-date $88 TVN seeds, $58 seeds, Mike Murdoch. Um, the front of the brown guitar which is seen on the other videos also. And I've since added a pickup to it that does not damage it for all you curators are out, that are out there going to get your hands a hold of this um, and make decisions. So the God, God guitar has it on the front. The Jesus guitar has the two images on the back. I'm going to flip it over since i got a couple of minutes left on this nine minute entry. There. And then the side view there. And this, they have to split this guitar down the middle. You can see the wood grain matches. That's how they make guitars. It's a back. They split it. So this knot is the same exact knot as this one at one time in the tree. And there is in a, a, a book of Thomas, in a book that's not in the Bible, and it's nothing to start a religion over or anything, but there is a scripture there that says, if you split the wood, I am there. It has something to do with if you turn over the, a rock, I am there. God's saying it. That he's everywhere. And this is a prophecy confirmation vehicle to confirm a prophecy that is so profound, so astonishing, has so many tentacles in our government and in terrorism and stopping terrorism. A terrorism attack 10,000 times worse than 9 11 that would have brought down our nation. That Sid Roth may not even be able to give details on the air because of the uh, tax-free status of some of the ministry. The 5013 might not even allow them to tell what's going on and what, what was these guitars were used by God to confirm and mathematically to confirm. So that is tremendous that that would be done. And that those things would uh, fall into the hands of a guy who's been promoting the book more than a carpenter with his rock band, Smash Alley Underground. And we would rather find a book with a full gospel charismatic believer that writes it, such as um, Hugh Ross or uh, Dr. Carl Ball. This book is so small and it's already in 50 languages. We've had to promote this and we haven't really hit it big on the seen uh, so a lot of those books haven't got out yet but keep in mind though 670 million dollars I call them the two billion dollar guitars